Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Play Suikoden 2 and today we're going into our final war battle. So yeah, let's go. Now, same setup as before, it's gonna have Mazus and Luke and George do a lot of the damage. Uh, Ridley will also help with that as well. Let's see, it's El Renul. It's a La Renul, maybe? La Renul? We're up against Seed, Colgan, Yubber, and Lucia. Also, Hull Cunningham is leading the second army, the Royal Guards. Cunningham? He's a legend. I don't like to pick on old men, but if he gets in our way, we'll have to take him out. You think you're gonna let you, ra uh, you rabble continue to follow our good land of Highland? Yes! There'll be no draw here. Victory or defeat. One or the other. Listen to me! Do nothing which will bring shame to the leader of the Korea, fa uh, Korea, Lady Lucia! This is the last battle, my king. The Bright Shield Moon, that's him, Genkaku's son. Let Ryu take your unit into the city. The final battle will be decided inside. Alright, so yeah, pretty much our goal is to get into the city. Um, Let's see what we're dealing with over here. We got you, which is high defense. It's like a better keeper unit. There's Yubber, who honestly is their strongest unit when it comes to damage. Seed, in a close second. Uh, everyone else is pretty muh and kind of garbage. So you come up there. You come up there. You want George to come forward. I probably should have given you like... Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, come down there. Come down there. Um, you know, I'll move you. Oh, House is actually a good unit as well. So we should probably... Hmm, okay. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Um, I wouldn't send too many of the weaker units in. Because, honestly, all but one of their units is a melee unit. So... Like, you can ping them from afar, and they'll do pretty decent stuff, right? I'm gonna clear the path for you. Move you up. Yeah, I sh definitely should have given him flight or something. So it's, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get other units up there. But yeah, we can get the, the range units in position. You can block off the magic units with some melee tanky units. And then just have them ping them off from a distance. Getting Hauser up there would be a good idea, though. For some attacking. His defense is pretty shit, though. I don't want to bring Max up there too much. No, no, no. I mean, I guess at this point we could leave it to uh, Apple and let her do her stuff. Who's back here? Gilbert? Uh... You stay there, Gilbert. If we all fall, you can take over the Dunan army. It's almost my chance. And earlier than I expected. Yubba, you fiend! He's just a general for hire. He's not going to throw his life away to protect his country. So, Yubba's a real friend and just leaves. He was their strongest unit, so... Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I owe you a beer, or whatever type of drink that you want, because holy shit, you are saving me some trouble. I don't want to get... Yeah, I don't want to get too, too close. Now, they're not really going to come out of the city. Uh, not yet, anyways. The The land units over here might come charge forward, but the, the cavalry units aren't going to do that. They're going to stay inside and uh, just kind of protect the city from people entering it. Because that's their goal, is to protect the city from, well, us getting in there. And hopefully we kill this unit. There we go. Alright, now we get three more of the small units. Isn't that bad. I'm not going to bring anyone too much closer in terms of, uh, like, the melee units. 
Not until they start going after our, our wizards. Harry. You're a wizard. I get it. Yeah, stop stop saying this. You're saying it all the time in Nino Kuni. You don't have to say it now. Uh, kill him. Now, we want to not get near Kulgin's unit. Really, Mazis? Yeah, we don't want to get too close to Kulgin's unit because he is ranged. And that can be a problem. Because we don't want him to actually counterattack or actually attack us. But thankfully, the magic units have a higher range than, uh. Ooh, we could do Fire Spear. We get close enough. Wait right there. Move these guys closer. Yeah, it's one of those things I wish they you could, I don't know, purchase traits for units and stuff like that. And upgrade them like through money or something, or even just like through the trade stuff. Like you have to trade for horses to get a bunch of horses. And then you can just like, I don't know, go from there. Something. I don't know. Like, a lot of these units are just too, really? Are just too weak. No, no, no. We'll save that for the, the big boys. Now, hopefully, Mazis kills these guys, and then Luke can finish off uh, Lucia. All right. Can we hit her here? No. Ah, but if we go up... Come on, Luke! You got this! It's like a 30% chance. God damn it, Luke, you have failed me for the last time. I mean, he doesn't care, but I care. Honestly, we don't really need to move these units. Fire Spear, one more time, baby. Please hit them. Oh, you killed her. Damn it. For the future of Korea. Oh, well, that makes things slightly easier. Uh, we, d we don't want to damage like uh, Han's unit, Cunningham's unit, because since they're in the city, he'll just stand on the center plate and heal. We don't want, yeah, we don't want to do that until we're pretty much in the city and what do you have? Nothing. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. No, don't go there. Here? No, you know what? Just move down here real fast. Okay. Um, I don't think. You know what? Th that's very dangerous to do. Just go here for right now. Attack you. I was thinking about actually, like, freaking going in there with Ryu, and I think that would end the battle. But... I don't want to chance it. <laughs> uh, I'm going after you, I guess. Maybe next turn, uh, Ryu can live through three attacks. Oh, we did it. Nice. defense 12 sure well fuck that was not worth it in the slightest oh well hopefully he doesn't die Oh, he's going right to the center. Okay. Oh, look at Ryu's horse. It's so pretty. Um, I guess attack. Yeah, that was stupid of me, probably. 
Finally, hello, Renal. We did it, we did it! Oh, we're good, okay, good. I wasn't sure if we had to get to the center of the place or if we're just entering, but hey, we won! Go me! All we have to do is take La Renal, Ria. Ah, oh, this is the end. Who will take with you? Well, okay, so... I need two healers. My two healers, two mages. So we're gonna bring Amazis. And... You know, I guess Luke wouldn't be too bad, right? I did just have him in the party. But I throw a, like, flowing rune on him. I don't- I'm not gonna put a flowing rune on him. I'm gonna put the rage rune on him. And then I'm gonna put the flowing rune on him. So that's our two magic uses in the back. Um... I'm gonna bring George? George or Presmerger? I'll bring George, because we just had Presmerger in the party. Uh, Ulan. Because she's one of the best. Uh, where are you? Hello? There you are, Jesus. Alright, and that's it. <laughs> All short range fighters, Kronos? Yeah! Yeah! What, what, no... No other party members? Rio, good luck. Let, don't let anyone, everyone's efforts go to waste. Also, come back safe, please. There's still a lot for you to do. Alright, well, here's the thing. I'm not actually going in there just yet. Right? I know! We got things we need to do! What is that, Kronos? We need to go northwest of here. <laughs> uh, the enemies over here are actually really, really strong. Um, but we should be fine. We could use some magic, but Ryu's gonna kill them in one hit anyways, because he's Ryu! Good job on the level ups. But why are we going northwest? Well, there's a town there that we haven't actually been to yet. That's also where we get the last hammer. It's also where I'm probably gonna be safe scumming to get the last hammer, unless we're relatively... I wouldn't say lucky, actually, because generally speaking, uh, this thing shows up all the time. Like, when I go there, it is, like, always there. Like, when I first go there. So, I'm not gonna say lucky if we get it on the first try. I am gonna save Scum just in case. Ryu, I was kind of joking when I said we didn't need anyone else but you, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, we can go back to Muse now. There are some people there. Some of the refugees that left Muse when it was first evaded have returned there. Uh, so that does mean that, like, the rune shop's open again, and we can potentially get another Fury rune. Which I'm hoping to get another Fury rune. Because I want to get another Fury rune and put it on Ulan, who then has infinite access to her, uh, her rune. Which is a very good rune to use. Alright, so, first things first. Hi! Yeah, I know! The Highland Kingdom lost because they overexerted themselves. And they p kept picking a fight when they shouldn't have. Uh, go down there. Just in case. Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. You guys have anything? Oh, that was, uh, that was Killy. He was here before. Uh, this is also the last place where Clive's subplot would, uh, conclude itself. If you can get here within, like, 20-ish hours and follow all the steps of Clive's quest, uh, he will have his, his last quest here. And, uh, it's interesting. It's just kind of a shame that, like, unless you prioritize that quest, then, uh, it ain't happening. Quack, quack. All right. So, if you, uh, if you remember back in the day, uh, when we looked at Templeton's map and then we saw this village on there, it said there was a rune shop here. There's not. Ooh, windspun armor. Uh, yeah. There's no one in the party can do that, but I'll totally get it. Um, there was some cape? Sure. There you go. 
Anyone else? Boots. Prince McCabe. Anyone else? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, put that in the bag. Luke, why do you have no good accessories? I should give you that last magic ring that we have. Alright, well that was a lot of money there that I didn't actually intend to spend. Um, so, now that we have the golden hammer done, we can actually get people's weapons up to level 16. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now, honestly, we might not actually need to uh, do the money glitch thing because uh, we only have like three physical fighters in the party, and the 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 other character I have is totally not going to need an upgrade. So yeah, I, I think we're 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 good with money. And that was just going back through uh, Rock Axe Castle, pretty much, in Mount Rukaku. Level One's weapon's called God Hand, because she's like, you're right, it is. Uh, so yeah, I guess my next little plan is to go to uh, Bregminster, because we're going to pick up Tear. We're going to bring him into the final dungeon. Um, he's just really strong to have, and I like having him in my party. Alright. Yeah, so... Ryu will always have, like, the strongest weapon. Generally speaking, the main characters in uh, the Suikoden Games' weapons will always be kind of strong. Ah, right. I need to put the Flowing Rune on Luke and the Rage Rune on Mazes. So I will do that right now. And then I'm going to go meet you guys in, um... Excuse me, where is the Flowing Rune? And the raid. Oh, they're still on Rena! Right. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that now, and I'll meet you guys in Gregminster. Gremio, give me your recipe. Gremio? Okay, never mind. Hi. I guess you don't give me your recipe. Please fight with us, dear. Uh, yeah, no, he's not gonna be home before us on down, dog. What do you even say? Oh, no, we do need to upgrade your weapons. Really? Are you gonna be down here if I come down here now? I thought you were supposed to give me your recipe. Oh, I gotta examine your dish and come talk to you? Is that it? I mean, I'm already done with my stuff. I don't know, that's weird. That's kind of weird, actually. How do I... I thought we had to talk to you after we finished the cooking contest. Oh, maybe we have to do the cycle after we finish? Huh. Supposedly give me the recipe. I'm not mad, just disappointed. Oh, maybe it's in the... I don't know, that's weird. Huh. Well, anyways, Tear is going to be our last party member. I guess I do have to go, like, uh... Level him up a bit. Not level him up, but, like, uh, go get the, uh... Weapon levels up on him. His equipment should be pretty good, though. In terms of uh, everything else that he has. Let's see. So, let's see. Yeah, his defense is really good. And when he levels up some more, he's going to be even better. I should probably put a flowing rune on him as well. I don't think it's... Uh, maybe a... Oh, no, we can't get the spark rune anymore. Yeah, I should probably go put a flowing rune on him, absolutely. But yeah, okay, I'll meet you guys back at... Uh, Muse, actually. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, okay. We got one Fury Rune. That's going on Ulan. We could always wait again for another Fury Rune to put it on George, but I actually kind of have another plan for that later on, but we'll worry about that then. So, now that we're re-entering Muse, in the item shop you can find a recipe in the rare finds. No, we can't, apparently, because it's not there. Uh, that was the recipe I was talking about way earlier in the game that I just totally misread for some reason on my notes. I didn't put it till far after. And I also believe you can find earth armor here as well. Or you can just give me silver armor. Thank you very much. Oh uh, yeah, we can find earth armor here. I'm gonna give this to... You. And that's that. So we're out of money. Uh, the silver armor is actually fairly good armor that I'm going to give to Ryu. 
And then that's that. No one can use the windspun armor here. Honestly, I don't think anyone besides like Humphrey and Presmerger can wear the windspun armor. So I kind of wasted 200 and some odd thousand dollars for it. But at the same time, it's it's really good armor. Um, let's see. Is there anything here that I want? Uh oh, right. Yes, there is. It's the last old book. So, let's see. Hi. Thank you. Old Book Volume 12. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know about that stew recipe. I must have misremembered that and totally didn't make the right notes. So we go into, uh... Back to the final dungeon, Gross? No. No, we gotta go drop off this book. Duh. But then we're going to the final... No! We're gonna go back to, uh, Cairo. Our hometown. And burn it to the gr No, no, no. We're just gonna go over there and see what's going on. There's, uh, actually something I want to show you guys that's very not required at all, but I find it very interesting. Um, yeah, okay. So, now we're done with the books. So, yeah. I think you tell me about the, the stew here. Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. Okay, well... Yeah, I have no idea. That's the last old book, though. It's the Gourmet's book. Um, now, yeah, we're gonna go to Cairo. We can teleport there now. We pretty much have access to the entire world. Um, and that includes where we started the game. Uh, the Tenzin Pass. Where the Youth Brigade was slaughtered. So, let's go to Cairo first. There's really nothing of value here. There's nothing in the rare finds. Um, you do kind of find out what happened to Joey and Roud. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know I managed to escape. <laughs> I escaped and led an army against you people. Sucks, doesn't it? Uh, what about having Kevin Roud? I heard he was moving up in the world, but it looks like he ran off somewhere. So yeah, as soon as Joey became king, he fled. Because he was worried about retaliation from Joey. Um, now, uh, Mr. Atreides ran off somewhere during the night. He must have been afraid of retaliation. Someone also, <laughs> his father and his mother and his brother also fled, uh, fearing that Joey was going to do something to him when he became king. So, yeah, it's, hey, wing boots, I'm going to give that to... George. I'm going to sell your precious cream cheese. There you go, dog. Or cheesecake, not cream cheese. I mean, it was made with cre yeah, cream cheese. Whatever. But all right, let's let's uh, let's get out of here. There's some lore bits here and there you can talk to um, some people. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we can do that right now. There, if you remember back during the flashbacks, we uh, saw Ryu oh, no, uh, and Joey burying something there. We can actually get it, but not right now. It's, it's not really worthwhile either, but it is kind of a nice touch. Sadly, we can't take any of this stuff. Honestly, this place has been, like, well taken care of, huh? Can we not examine the bed? That's a Nami's bed. This is our bed. Nice familiar cell smell. Oh, you know, we can go pay respects to our grandfather, right? Wash bucket. Ah, I don't know. I be kind of weird, right? Maybe not for some people in the world, but I, not having, like, a bathroom to wash yourself in and just, like, doing it through a bucket just to... I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? If to keep clean... The hygiene is super important to your health. Um, so, yeah, keeping clean is super important. So dental hygiene, body washing... Hy yeah, it's all important. So don't neglect that, because the, the dirty you are... The more infections can happen, the more sicknesses can happen. This has been your PSA with Kronos. Alright, so we're in Tenzin Pass. This is where the Youth Brigade was slaughtered uh, way back in the day. We're a little ways from the camp, and we can actually travel all the way through here to get to the capital. Now, oddly enough, the enemies here have gibberish for names. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But hey, they do. 
Oh, shish kebabs. I meant to get the magic ring out of uh, storage for Luke. That's fine. A lot of levels there. I got a painting. That might actually be worth something. But yeah, all these enemies are enemies that you fight on the world map. But for whatever reason, in Tenzin Pass, they all have broken names. I don't know why. Well, maybe they don't expect you to be here. That doesn't make any sense, though. They're just copy and paste enemies from the world map. And the dungeon, for like the final dungeon. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they're broken. But they are, and that's, you know, if they want to be broken, that's that's on them, right? They can be broken all they want. Oh, man. Yeah, so if we travel all the way through, like, like, if we go right from here, we can actually get to the camp. There's nothing there right now, so I'm not I'm not really going to go there. Um, but yeah, if we go, not right, left. If we go left from here, we'll get to the camp. If we keep going forward, we'll uh, make it through to the other side to where uh, the capital of Highland is. Um, it it kind of just connects, everything connects together pretty much in some form or the other, right? So... I like, I like showing it off because it's just kind of one of those, ah, oh, another painting. Uh, it's probably trash, right? I mean, if it's not, that's great. There's nothing here, too. There's no treasures. There's there's really nothing. There's this cool bridge. That's it, though. Honestly, it's kind of like a neat little addition they had. There, there was no reason to add this. Like, you actually do not have to come here. You don't have to go through here. You don't have to do anything. They could have just said this. They could have just made a path to the camp. And that was it. Or they could have just made the path non-accessible anywhere on the map. Except for like one location or something like that. And yet they did. Another reason I like bringing Tear with us is because the Unite attack that uh, he has with the, the main character is group hitting. So it's a little weaker than their combined attack power, but it's still really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna go heal up, and then uh, let's go to the capital. Oh, Lover's Garden. I actually think that sells for quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I put the Fury Rune on Ulan. I know I said I was gonna meet you guys back at that uh, the Highland Capital, Lavernal, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, I actually need to uh, upgrade some of Mazza's, uh headgear here. Because the dude had a circlet on it, and I don't know why. Yeah, you can get... Oh, even Luke? Oh my god, dude. That's weird. I did take some stuff out of the storage. So I gave Luke the uh, magic ring I had there. I gave Ulan a... I, I'll just show you. Um, so yeah, Ulan has earth armor, flame armor, or flame helm. Um, I gave Tyr the earth armor, and I gave Luke the magic ring. So we're, oh yeah, that's right, you can't actually equip anything but the silver armor here, huh? Yeah. Right. Uh, I thought Luke could equip the dream robe, but apparently not. Oh yeah, I gotta sell that stuff, huh? I don't need that lion rune anymore, either. So, uh, goodbye. Graffiti, $100, huh? Lovely. And Lover's Garber, eh, almost 30000 That's not bad. We could probably trade that somewhere for uh, a little more, but, yeah, it's not really worth it. All right, now to the capital. And like everywhere else in this game, it is accessible, except for like Gregminster. You can just have Vicky teleport you there. All right, so everyone is still here, just waiting around. I healed up. Yeah. Great, let's go. I also almost switched out Luke for Tengar because having her in the party who can actually attack from the back row is Kind of better than just having Luke back there, or having two mages that can't attack. But anyways, you cannot pass here for all the warriors who died, for Korea, and for the king! Yeah, for some reason she wants to fight, and she's a bit of a joke, so uh, just literally destroy her with everything you got, because why not? Thunder! Oh man, that's a really good attack, too. Maybe I should have to... Should I put the Thunder Rune on Luke instead of Cyclone? 
I mean, okay, we have Shredding, which is like a 500 damage throughout an enemy. It's very good for random encounters that I don't want to deal with. Hmm. Oh, she only has 6,500 HP, so 6,500. She, yeah, it's... She's, yeah... She, I don't know why she's staying here. It's very foolish of her. She does have a neat fire spell, though. Oh, not this one. This is just explosion. She has another fire spell that is not a fire spell you can get, but it's still fairly good. Are uh, you gonna do it? Yeah, this one! This one's super unique! I wish we could get it. She attacks three times, so that's kind of impressive. Oh, shit! Oh, you're doing the combined spell! I totally did not choose the right one. It is what it is, though. Thank you for your money! Why? Why can't we win? Why can we have no justice? Are you kidding me? Are you insane? It's been a long time, Lucia. You, the little princess from Greenhill. What are you doing here? Have you come to laugh at me? She's like, yes. <laughs> now, I haven't forgotten my promise, what you said. That my father had your father murdered. I'm going to look into it. And what about you? You still wish to die, even though I've made this promise. What promise? As acting mayor of Greenhill, it is my duty to search for the truth and justice, even if it means damaging my father's good name. After all, aren't you also looking for the truth? You! It's okay, Shin. Why don't you try to run? Because I know you. You wouldn't hurt an unarmed opponent. Teresa, do you really trust people so much? I trust you, that's all. You can go, Ryu. This is your fight. I'll watch and see how things work out. Ah, yeah, we'll be careful. Shin, what the hell, man? You gotta stay in front of the person you're guarding. You should go. I, I will. I will go heal. <laughs> Just walks out. It just leaves after like <laughs> Lucien and <laughs> Teresa just like. Did he just leave? Yeah, I think he did. Where is he going? I have no idea. Just come back here. Ryu's getting ready to take a bath and take a nap. Uh, yeah, because we need to heal up because we used all our spells. Uh, there is a healing point in this dungeon, by the way. It's just uh not till like the end. So I'm going to heal and save and say this is it for this episode. Next episode is the finale. I it was like either this one or the next one. What can I say? There's a lot of exploring to do at the end that we couldn't do before. But all right. I will see you all next episode. Have a great day. Bye.